In this video, I want to quickly show and demonstrate the environment, the interface of Natron. When you first open up Natron, this is what you're presented with. Uh, you have a viewer window here. You have your node graph down here. You have settings over here that you can change. By default, our project settings come up. We can change the output format of our project. Right now, we're on 1080p. You can change the frames per second. By default, it's 24. You can scroll up. You can also just double click and type in to change if you want to do like 30 FPS frames per second. We have GPU rendering enabled, which is cool. So by default, the settings are, are pretty much what we what I think you're going to want to have. You have a timeline in the middle here that shows your frames. So our project says our first frame is frame 1, our last frame is 250. So our timeline shows frame 1 over here on the left hand side and frame 250 on the right hand. And we can click and go to any one frame between 1 and 250. That triangle shows where we're at on the timeline. If we want to see how that works, I'll just quickly generate like a checkerboard node. And then I'm going to drag like this bottom line here over to the viewer so we can see what this checkerboard looks like. And now we can play and we'll just see frame by frame it's playing 30 frames per second until it gets all the way to 250. I can hit stop. I can go back in time and play that portion again, but nothing's happening because it's just a checkerboard. Um, the settings for this checkerboard now appear over here. We can see uh, we have new options. So before, if I hit, if I just delete this checkerboard, we have the project settings of just our project. But if we have a checkerboard created in here, we have more settings. So now we can change the size of the squares of the checkerboard. We can change the colors of the of each square of the checkerboard. Um, so yeah, different uh, different settings that we have to control this checkerboard here. And then we see down here is the node graph. And if you've never done anything with nodes or if they're kind of daunting to you, don't worry. Uh, we're going to go through and you're going to get lots of experience. You're going to get very comfortable. It is a very powerful way to do editing. And it, it's this Natron is a node-based editor, so you have to learn this node graph. Uh, but don't worry, you're going to get the hang of it. So right now we have like this one attached from the checkerboard to the viewer. This is called like a pipe. Um, it's just like a line that, that connects to it. So we have this two we could also connect in here to the checkerboard. So it just shows like whatever node we have here, it, when it's connected to the viewer, whatever's connected to the viewer will display up here. And we can scroll and zoom in and out to see. We can drag around, uh, pan around, and uh, look at what's in the viewer here. Uh, and then the checkerboard, or what the node that we have, is going to be tied there. To break it, we just click and drag, and we can break. We can connect a node by just dragging from the node to the viewer. We can also drag from the viewer to the node. And we can add multiple nodes in line, like if we want to do uh, like a color correct node. And now it just appears in line here because we had the checkerboard already selected. But if it didn't appear in line, we can just automatically draw these, uh, you know, connect these nodes together. And with this color corrector, we can change like the saturation of the colors. We have really more red or less red and change like the contrast. There's not a whole lot we can do with just a checkerboard. But so we see we have the checkerboard getting piped in or linked to the color corrector. And the color corrector is going to the viewer. So it's just a quick example of how this uh, how this is working. Under We have more uh, options up here under the viewer too. So we can see like what we're viewing. Um, we can see like the we can zoom in to like 25%, zoom to 100%. So we can see just sort of some options for viewing here. And we will do more with this uh, in later tutorials. So hopefully you found this video informative. We're just going to dive right into the next tutorial and actually start playing and getting you familiar with these. Oh, I, I should have mentioned too. So over here on the left hand side is how we create our nodes. So we have different types of nodes. If you hover over it, it'll tell you. This is like time nodes. We have draw nodes. We have image nodes. Uh, we have merge nodes, filter nodes. So different types of nodes do different things. And if you click on these, it gives you a drop down. I'm just left clicking. It gives you a drop down for different types of nodes you can create. And we just create the nodes. Not all nodes uh, play with each other like properly. You have to, there's different ways you connect different nodes uh, for different things. But we'll go over that in the next videos. And all the properties for the nodes, again, appear here in the right-hand side. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Catch me on the next one, and we'll just get started compositing with Natron.